Hi, this is Gerald with Primo Web Solutions. Today I'm going to show you how to do a minimal installation of CentOS 6.4. After the installation, we'll also set up our networking files so that we can access the outside world. So first thing we're going to do here is go ahead and boot from our CD-ROM or your USB, whatever image uh, you're using here. Okay, so I'm going to skip the media testing to save time. Okay, so at this window you can just hit next. Choose your language. I'm going to select basic storage devices. Okay. And then set a host name. And set your root password. And we're going to create a custom layout for this installation. Oops. Okay. Oops. Okay, so we're going to set up a RAID 1. Everything looks 
looks good here. So after we go ahead and proceed, we can go ahead and write the changes to the disk. This process can take a few minutes. Since it's a minimal install, it's not going to take quite as long as installing a, a full web server. Okay, so now our installation is complete. We'll go ahead and reboot our box. Okay, so now that our system is booted up, we can go ahead and sign in as root. Okay, so there's a few files we need to edit in order to get access to the uh, to the outside world. By default, with a minimal install, you're not going to have any networking set up unless you configured it uh, during the installation. I usually like to do it after. So if we were to try to ping Google, for example, we're going to receive unknown host. Um, so right now we really don't have any access uh, to the outside world. So the first thing I'm going to do here is go ahead and edit network. And in this file, I'm simply going to add my default gateway. And 
usually you can get this from your network administrator uh, or if you're simply doing it on a local network uh, you can just use your router IP or however you, however you might have your network set up here okay so we'll type in gateway and for this network we're going to put in okay so as soon as we finish setting up our gateway we can go ahead and save and exit the file okay so the next file we're going to want to edit will be in your network scripts folder. Um, we're going to be looking for our default interface. So we're going to change on boot to yes. We need to change DHCP to static. Now we need to add our IP address. Which I'll need to look up here in a second. Netmask. Okay, so after you enter your IP address and your netmask, you can go ahead and save and quit the file. And the last document we should edit here is our name servers. I'm just going to use Google's by default. Okay, so the last thing you're going to do here is go ahead and restart your network. So you can type in service network, and actually this would be the first time we were starting it, you would hit start. Um, since I just hit start, we'll go ahead and uh, restart. Okay, so now that we've set up all of our network config files, we can go ahead and we should be able to ping the outside world. So I'm just going to try ping google.com. So I, as you can see, DNS is now working. Uh, we're able to resolve host names, uh, and we're also able to access the outside world. So now you'll be ready to install all your packages. If you're setting up a web server, you might want to put Apache, PHP, etc. Get all that good stuff installed. Uh, so in the next tutorial, we'll actually go through. We're going to install Virtual Min using a minimal installation of CentOS. Uh, so I hope this helps you out on getting a minimal install set up. I know a common problem is people do have trouble getting those network files set up. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to do here to complete the installation is I want to disable root access for SSH. Uh, so I just have a few basic settings I'm going to want to set up here. So first I'm just going to type in vsudo okay so the first thing I need to do is create a new user that I'm going to use as a sudoer
Okay. <clears throat> Oops. So I'll vsudo again. And I'm going to add a group for my sudoers. So I created an admins group that we'll be using for the sudoer. Now I just need to add that group. Okay, and then we'll modify my existing user. I'm going to give groups admins, wheel, and admin for the admin user. And then now we can go ahead and disable root access via SSH. Okay. Let me go ahead. Let me go ahead and set my rules here for logging in. Oops. We'll say allow groups. Uh, we want to allow admins. Permit root login. We'll say no. And we'll put a max auth. So we'll give them six tries. Okay, so now we've disabled root login. Go ahead and save and quit this file. We'll just need to restart SSH. Okay. <clears throat> so now, so now we can go ahead and sign in with our SSH client with the new user we've created. And we should be able to sudo. And as you can see, uh, sudo now works. If I were to try I'm going to try to sign in as roots, and it shouldn't allow me. So access will be denied every time you try to sign in as root from this point forward. Okay, so that's all for our tutorial today. I hope uh, this was helpful. Uh, so today we've done a full installation, or minimal install, of uh, CentOS 6 for Final, and we got our network scripts working, and we went ahead and disabled root access and created a sudo user.